Health experts believe our state's peak is still weeks away, so will there be enough medical supplies and staffing when it happens? Action 7 News reporter Brandon Evans shows us how you'll play a role in that. This is a study that some health experts are using to project states' peak times and where they're going to be as far as supplies go. Now, this one says New Mexico will need about 130 ventilators and will be short 35 ICU beds. But state health officials I spoke with say this study actually is underestimating the impact of the virus here. We think there'll be more need for general hospital beds, more need for ICU beds, and more need for ventilators than they predict. He says how short the state actually is when the projected peak hits depends a lot on you. If everyone in New Mexico were to stay at home and work at home and, and only send one person out once a week or once every other week for groceries, we could dramatically decrease transmission and ensure that we have an adequate supply of beds, ICU beds and ventilators for the state. He says the state has officially applied to get more than 1,000 ventilators from FEMA, but he says that may be a while. Our understanding is the federal government is dispensing emergency equipment in what you might call a just-in-time mm -hmm. sort of manner. So while we are trying to prepare and get the equipment we need, we know that the first requests to be filled seem to be in states where all of their ventilators are already full. Well, he says even if the state has all of its supplies, when the peak happens, he says staffing could still be an issue. He says they have a number of retired healthcare workers that they could use, but they don't want anyone over 60 to have direct contact with any COVID-19 patients. Reporting, Brandon Evans, KOT Action 7 News. Scray says to prepare for what's to come, the state is now looking at potentially bringing in nursing and medical students and having them forego their final months of training in the field and place them out there dealing with patients. <laughs>